Today I'm visiting Koski River in Kagoshima City for the cherry blossoms. Now what's great about this location is it's right near the main train station. It has cherry blossoms all along the river. It's early April, the blossoms have fully bloomed already and green leaves are starting to bud out. But it's still a great time to see the blossoms along the river. So check out this quick tour video or you can jump ahead to the painting instead. I was hoping to find some food stalls along the river, but I only found this shop alongside the road. Um, looks like the good stuff were gone already, but I did end up buying some soup and fried pork. Uh, it's a shame they didn't sell any alcoholic drinks because I could really use the drink at that time. Instead of a scenery painting, I decided to do a floral painting and the scene I chose is this uh, picture of the blossoms just draping over the river. I really like that. After the drawing has finished, I'm going to use some drawing gums to protect the drawing so I can work on the background without affecting the drawing. After the drawing gum has dried, it's time to work on the background and to really make the white blossom stand out, I'm going to throw all kinds of colors in the back and just go crazy. Adding a little salt here for flavor and effect. And now that the paint has dried, it's time to remove the drawing gum. I find it easier to remove it with an eraser. Looks 
like the drawing gum has worked and the subject or the painting was not affected by the background paint. Now it's time to start painting the branches. Painting the background is a mess and looks dirty. But I, I'm going to keep it like that because I think having something dirty and ugly in the back uh, makes the blossom stick out and look more beautiful. That's my opinion. Something you should know is this is actually my first floral painting and I gotta say uh, it's not bad. I kinda like it. I might do it again. Originally, I didn't want to draw the green leaves and just keep the white blossoms in the picture, but it's part of what I saw, so I'm going to keep it that way. So the blossoms are now standing out as I planned, so I'm just going to cheat and use a marker to outline the painting. Final touch, just some splatter of paint. And here's the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this quick painting and tour of Koski River with cherry blossoms. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.